What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello once again, Monster Hobbies, Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome to the year 2000. Isn't that cool? It was 1999 and now finally it's 2000. Y2K. Why not? <laughs> Nothing actually shut down, did it? All right, anyway, we have this great Ravel Wheels of Fire Snap Tight Chrysler PT Cruiser. So without further ado, uh, let's go down to the bench and see what's in the box. So now we wind the clock all the way back to 1899, where we survived Y2K in the year 2000. No, uh, remember that was a big worry? That the uh, computer clocks would flip to 1899 and the whole world would blow up? Well, luckily that didn't happen. Anyway, here we have our Revell Wheels of Fire PT Cruiser. This is a really cool kit. I have built one, and at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how mine turned out. No gluing, no painting, skill level one. Excellent for the beginner modeler. On this side of the box, we can see the awesome flame stickers that you put on your PT Cruiser if you want the lowrider edition. Now this is a skill level one kit for ages eight and up. Does not need paint, does not need glue, but you will need a little screwdriver. And on this side of the box, we get a wonderful front three quarter view of our PT Cruiser. Now it does say that the length of this model is six and three quarter inches long. There's 36 pieces. The body is molded in metallic red and charcoal, and there are peel and stick stickers in here. On the bottom of the box, we get this full write-up of our Chrysler PT Cruiser. We also get a really cool rear three-quarter view with the optional flame decals on here. They're actually stickers. Don't tell anyone. And here we have our dashboard for the real car. And this kit has a lot of interior room, even though it looks small on the outside. There you go. Check it out at wwwrevel monogramcom Actually, you're not going to find that because this kit is from the year 2000. So that's 22 years ago today. This model kit is on loan from my good wife, Julie. We bought two at the same time. I finished mine. She never finished hers. So that's always good for our review because this is the only car model I have for the year 2000. So there's our instruction sheet, which Danny the dog will take a look at with everybody. And I'm not sure if the decals are in here. There's our seat back, our bottom, and then we've got our chrome components. One of them anyway. <laughs> there's our interior. I do believe my wife was working on this one. And there's one of the bucket seats. We also have our transparent red pieces and our clear pieces, as well as our little PT Cruiser body. And we've got the inner door panels. We've got an assembled wheel, probably four of them, hopefully. We also have our dashboard here. And then we've got our front bumper. And what else? There's the wheels again, the rear bumper. And what's in the corner? That is a panel. <laughs> the back panel of the interior, actually. And there's the other wheel. So I'll clear this out of the way. And Danny the dog can show you the instructions. And hey, yeah, I am missing the decal sheet. Hello once again. This is Danny the dog, your dog in the neighborhood. So, hey, Trevor, I got a question for you. Yeah, what's that, Danny? Do you think maybe the decal sheet got deleted because of Y2K? I don't know, Danny. Maybe. Yeah, that could be a good possibility. Anyway, so what we got here is we have the write-up of our PT Cruiser. We also have a three-quarter front shot taken from an upper exterior type angle, maybe using a boom crane. But uh, yeah, there it is anyway. And then we have the symbols you're going to see in the instruction sheet, as well as the read before you begin stuff, and some tips to help the beginner modeler to make an excellent PT Cruiser model kit. So again, we've got these really cool, like semi-photographic type illustrations in here. That's kind of neat. So we've got our front and rear seat backs, which clip together on these uh, posts and there's holes inside as well. And then in the back here, we also have the same arrangement. Now there's four holes in here. Is that an actual thing on the PT Cruiser? Uh, maybe for like, I don't know, when the seats are folded down or something. Let us know if you got one in the description below if that's real or if that's uh, just a snap together feature. 
Next up, we get panel three, which shows our seats going down into our floor pan. And then step four, which shows the door panels being clicked into place on the side of the interior pan. Panel five is showing our interior going together with the steering wheel and our dashboard. And then there's that tailgate panel, which keeps the sides all nice and parallel. Then in step six, we have our headlight reflector going in the back and then our clear headlight lenses. And this unit pops in from behind and pushes forward. In step seven, we see our side mirrors being put in place as well as the front bumper. And step eight shows the left and right tail lights going in and the rear bumper going underneath. Step nine shows our chrome wheels going into the tires and the metal axle which connects the two. You do four wheels and two metal axles. Now here we've got our clear window dropping into the underneath of the body in step 10. In step 11, we see our interior going into the body and then the chassis going down on top of that. And then in step 12, you take your screws and screw them in right up tight into the wheel arches. So that's kind of nice. The uh, tires will cover over the screw heads. Now step 13 is kind of cool for a snap together kit. Look at this. It says notice two different axle holes. The one closer to the body is the lowrider version. The other hole is the standard version. So that's neat, you get two different ride heights. In step 14, we can actually see that that carries on in the rear as well. So you can build this as a stock or a lowrider. Step 15 is the sticker placement guide. So down there, you've got the license plate and here's those nice flames. Now I kind of hate it when there's a decal sheet missing because that puts me out of a job. So anyway, that's kind of the way it goes for me. But uh, it says place PT Cruiser sticker on your Adventures Build Collector's Poster. Ooh, that's interesting. You can put your Wheels of Fire sticker on a backpack, a notebook, or wherever you want. So again, really cool ideas for your stickers. And finally, Ravel was kind enough to actually give us a photograph of all the parts. So if you're uh, missing some or don't want to use any, you have this nice guide for future reverence. Okay, everybody, I got to bow out now, but Trevor, you take it away and show them what the model kit parts look like. Thank you so much, Danny, for helping us out with all your help on those instruction sheets and the decal sheets on previous videos. You're always a great, great help. Oh, thank you. All right, let's take a look at this nice body here. So my wife has actually sanded out some of the seam lines. There was one that ran right from up here and came across somehow. Uh, if you ever get this kit, you'll see what I'm talking about. I think it went wrapped around the front of the hood because that's where all the sandpaper marks are. But overall, I mean, this is a nice color that it's molded in. I do believe there's an old tester's paint color like this too. Uh, Lots of really good injection molded details. You got the PT Cruiser emblem right there. You got your door handles, which are supposed to look like something out of the 30s or 40s in the Streamliner era. You also have your gas filler door in here, which is nicely molded into that belt line. So again, there you are. And then in the back, look at that nice emblem in there. And again, the Chrysler logo down here, telling you what kind of car it is and all that. The front end looks really nice as well. You get that nice grill in there, nicely molded in place. There are some mold marks up underneath, but nothing too terrible that you couldn't take care of with that number 16 hobby blade. There's the locations for screwing the body together. There's also little tabs in the back, which lock in the back end. So again, a really excellent model for the beginner or somebody that actually owns a PT Cruiser. So let's look at that chassis pan. So again, look at the nice front wheel drive molded engine in there and the front transfer. This almost looks like the Dodge Caravan in a way. Well, same company, right? And then there's our exhaust manifold and our gas tank here, as well as the spare tire and our muffler. So all this will look really nice once you paint it up. Bring this up into the camera. Again, you can see the nice detail. Looks like a real space saver tire in underneath there. And the only thing is a little logo on there saying that's made by Ravel, which if you want to get rid of that, number 16 Hobby Blade. Look at the engine detail in there. And again, you've got the two ride heights for your low rider if you want to build one. Again, really cool. 
I know a lot of people would actually put white wall tires on here with baby moon hubcaps. I've seen it done. Let us know if you've got a PT Cruiser, what kind of customizing things you like to put on it. Here we've got that interior floor panel and it is very holy. You can see the center console molded in here with the cup holder and that's basically it. Again, it's got the holes in here for the mounting and up underneath there are mold marks, but this never really seemed to interfere with anything. Overall though, really nicely done. There you go, focus in on that. Another great snap together kit by Ravel. Here we have all the panels that make up our interior and keep in mind that the seats are actually twice as many pieces because they had that front and back that you clip together and my wife just basically snapped those pieces together but that's about it. So there's those inner door panels. You can see the nice detail in here, the uh, armrests, the speakers and all that cool stuff. There's your steering wheel, your dashboard, the rear panel and our front buckets and rear seat. So I'll just move these to the side and we can take a look at our door panel here. And look at how nice that is. Really, really cool. And the smoke gray here is actually one of the colors for the interior. If you got an old Chrysler PT Cruiser brochure, you'll see that there are two colors or check it out in a Google search. Overall though, this is nice. You've got a lot of snaps in here in order to make this a fully separate independent type of interior. Again, really nice. And when it all comes together on that floorboard, it really, really looks good. Check out those seats there. Again, the upholstery pattern is very nice. And on the back, you even have the handles for flipping the seats forward. The only criticism are these funny holes. Again, let me know if that's something real or not. Then on the back seats, again, you get that little cargo net in there for your magazines. And the detail is really, really nice there as well. And then we'll look at that dashboard again. Looks like the real PT Cruiser. It's got the airbag in here as well as the uh, <laughs> glove box. And then all the little heater arrangements up there as well as our CD player and the instruments inside as well as the pedals and the little slots for defrosting the front windshield. And then in the back, now this goes down this way that covers the brake light but again you get the nice detail in there on the panel and then we have our steering wheel as the final piece which again does have the little pt emblem in the center so really really nice stuff now let's bring all our parts back for a curtain bow <laughs> anyway there's our bench seat there and our buckets so again, really well engineered by Ravel. So here we have our front and rear bumper as well as our side mirrors. And there is a nice little alcove in here to put in the chrome mirror. Again, really nicely done. Very simplistic though. I guess the PT Cruiser is kind of simple. So we've got the license plate shroud there as well as our backup lights. And again, a really excellent work mold mark in the center there it's got to be taken care of but nothing too bad again same with the front bumper it looks like the right thing and the plastic color is actually the right color for this we also have our mirrors and again not not bad no mold marks nothing really excellent work by Ravel the chrome on the PT Cruiser really amounts to what would be equal to zero almost. There are the four wheels which were molded in here, which my wife snapped out. We'll see them in a minute. And we also have the front. This is in behind. You got your turn signal lights here, as well as your headlight bezel in the back. But you know, what you get is nicely done. It does look like a proper Chrysler PT Cruiser headlight bezel in there. There's also little turn signals very in, in the very corners there that you would paint with your amber, which will end up looking really nice. And then the lower ones, these I think are actually driving lights. But overall, I mean, for what you get, it's really, really good. Now here we have our glass, and this is molded as one piece front to back, much like the early 60s promo cars were. However, with this, you get the dome light in there. You also get your sun visors, your windshield wipers, the rear window, and the light in the back, as well as a transparent sunroof. 
And then in the front you get the headlights which will all snap in as well as the rear tail lights which are molded in red. So what's also cool about this is this area here is all frosted. So not too much involved with painting. I think I was a little wrong on the trunk lid because up here, whoops, is the actual uh, third brake light right there. You would paint this in black around the window just so that it looks like the right thing. But again, look at the nice uh, sun visors in there. This area here would all be painted with the uh, interior color and just be careful not to get on your glass with paint. But overall, I mean, this is a really nice window just as a snap together kit. Now I'll bring the headlights up here. Again, you can see there's frosting on there, which is the way it's supposed to be on the real PT Cruiser. Cut down some of that glare from the headlights. And we also have our tail lights in here, which have a little bit of a molding, uh, kind of a relief in there or whatever pattern. There we go. Just so that these end up looking like the real PT Cruiser tail lamps. So again, really excellent engineering by our good friends at Ravel. Here we have our tires and our wheels. Now these are Goodyear Eagle tires and the wheels are chrome one piece. If you turn them over, you can actually see the hole where the axle is supposed to go in. The tread pattern on here is really, really nice. Looks like the real thing, only smaller. Again, excellent work by our good friends over at Ravel. So as promised at the beginning of this video, here is my buildup of the PT Cruiser. Now this paint color that's on here is actually a paint trick. The entire model was painted flat black and then a long time ago I bought these pearl powders and I used the pearl powder here. This is the Model Doctor Ultra Flake. I don't know if you can still get this. But what I did is I mixed the pearl powder with clear paint and I sprayed it through my airbrush. And this is the color purple that we ended up with. And again, this is a really, really nice purple. It actually changes with the light as it goes around, like I'm showing here now that I'm spinning the model. And there's bare metal foil on that back handle. I took a look at that Chrysler sheet and uh, made sure I matched this thing perfectly to the real PT Cruiser. And again, you can see just how cool it ended up. I've taken pictures of this and the real PT Cruiser and you really can't tell the difference between the model and the actual car. Now just spinning this around somewhere I got an Alberta plate and I put it on. So again that is really cool. So let's get some more close up pictures of this. The interior has a light tan color cream in there as well as that charcoal. So again here it is from a higher three quarter shot. And you can see inside that wonderful interior. Again, really cool steering wheel. Maybe I can get up through the sunroof in there. Eh, not too well. <laughs> but overall, again, really excellent. There's the back. You can see some of that uh, flake in there. Uh, really, really cool. There's the brake light up top in the window. Sorry for uh, doing this a little rough. Not as smooth as when I'm showing off my dad's models. Oh, let's turn this thing over. So there's what I did up underneath. Added in that aluminum paint, or actually it's chrome silver. But again, you can see just how wonderful that turned out. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that great look at our Chrysler PT Cruiser. I want to wish you all the best of luck in the new millennium. <laughs> Anyway, if you would love these great videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Check out our great video library that we've done of all the other unboxing kits, and there might be something really cool in there for you, like maybe something from the 50s, the 60s, the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, or our modern age. So until next time, everybody, happy model building. Please become one of our members down below, and we'll see you in the next video.